is that the approach we chose is actually one of philanthropic impact investing. The term of impact investing did not yet exist in 2006. It was actually coined in 2007. Uh, but uh, we essentially reinvented that, that concept uh, of investing in young companies uh, when they are not stable yet, when they already are companies. So they have clients, they have products, they have a team, they have an entrepreneur, uh, but they uh, need a lot of support beyond capital. Uh, they need a lot of expertise, mentoring, uh, help with uh, strategy, with organization, with governance, with fundraising, with crisis management, uh, and so on. And uh, because this is quite expensive uh, when the companies are small and the co small companies are quite risky, uh, this needs philanthropic capital. And so that's why we said we are a philanthropic impact investor who is investing in companies that have a, a pr primarily a, a kind of profit seeking motivation uh, in addition to impact because of a deep conviction uh, that essentially impact happens through entrepreneurship uh, not through anything else uh, and uh, so that's that's what we do and over time we chose uh, these four key investment teams uh, smallholder farmers agriculture value chains for the recognition that uh, three quarters of people in uh, rural areas live uh, on, on farms and are poor. Uh, the, third, the second is kind of last mile distribution in formal retail because those, many of those that do not work in agriculture, they work in these small uh, mom and pop shops uh, that on one hand create employment and on the other hand also uh, provide access for poor people to goods and services at affordable and fair prices. And the third was employable skills. Uh, for young people out of a recognition that the world has made huge progress in building schools and providing primary education while somewhat neglecting uh, what kids do after having gone eight years to school and providing them the skills, the skills that allow them to actually earn a living. Uh, and then the fourth is kind of a basket of opportuni uh, somewhat opportunistic basket that we call digital solutions uh, because obviously there are many areas uh, where digital solutions help address uh, poverty. So that's essentially what we do. Uh, we have gone on this journey uh, for uh, now almost 15 years. Uh, 